In this video, I want to look at some uh, trig graphs on this little thing. Right, what I'm going to draw is um, sine x. Okay, I'm working in radians. Don't don't worry too much. Um, I'll explain exactly what I'm doing. This is a graph of y equals sine x, or the f of x equals sine x. Exactly the same thing. Don't worry about that. We can see it starts at zero, maximum of one, back down to zero, minimum of minus one, and it starts repeating. In degrees, 90, 180, 270, 360. So right there is one full period, what we call a period. So it starts repeating itself every 360. What we're going to start doing is um, playing about with this. On this one, I'm going to do um, sine and then x plus 2. Okay, this is one of these that's the f of x plus a. So this is going to be a vector, a column vector of 0, a. All that's going to happen is it's going to be raised up by 2. Here's the original, there's the new one. So it's the whole same graph, just moved up two units. So every part is twice as high. So if you, at the origin it was zero, it's now at two. The maximum is now at three. The minimum is now at one instead of minus one. So that's your f of x plus a. So on that one I did plus two. If I now change that, go away, there we go. Right, let's now change that to minus two. Okay, there's my original. And if we come down here, there's my original. This is now the same graph moved down two units. Exactly the same shape, nothing's changed. All that's happened is the y coordinates have been dropped by two units. So that one is 0 uh, minus 2. The other one was 0 plus 2. Okay, let's now delete that. If we do sine of. Um, Let's do alpha x um, minus, right, bear with me on this one because I'm going to do it in radians. Um, I prefer setting this thing up in radians. Pi by 2. Pi by 2 is 90 degrees. So what I'm now going to do is the f of x minus a, which is going to see it, a vector, it's, all it's going to do is shift it a units to the right. So when I hit draw now, here's my original and here's the new one. The whole graph has moved right and this time by 90 degrees. It's gone right 90 degrees. So this one would have looked like f of x minus 90. The whole graph picked up translated 90 units, column vector 90, 0. We're working in degrees here. So now if I change this to plus, okay. There's the original, and this is now moved minus 90, so it's gone the other way. So this is f of x plus 90, just moving this way. Right, let's kill that one. Now we're going to look at stretches. What I'm going to do is uh, sine, let's get my x back. This is now one of the a f of x. This is a scale factor of a parallel P to Y, parallel to Y. So watch what happens. Here's our original. This is now twice as high and twice as low, so it's being stretched. So your maximum was at 1, it's now at 2. Your minimum was at minus 1, it's now at minus 2. It's crossing at the same points, so all we're getting is a stretch parallel to the Y axis. If I change that number now to a 3, it's going to get three times as high and three times as low. So you can see that minimum point has now gone to negative three. Maximum point has now gone to positive three. Hopefully you can see how, what's happening there. Okay? And in the same way, if we change that now to um, half on the front, what do you think is going to happen to that? 0.5. Okay. That's the original. And this is going to be squeezed in. Okay, so let's kill that one. So that was AF of X. What I'm now going to do is F of AX. This is a scale factor of 1 over A parallel to X, P to X. So let's do this one. If I press sine alpha, 
Now I'm going to do two. Um, no, I want two alpha x, don't I? That's what I want. Sine of two alpha x. There's the original. This is now getting twice as close. So the x coordinates, look, let's just look at this one now. Before it did one full cycle by 360. This is now doing it by 180. So all of those are being scrunched up towards the y axis. So if I exit that and actually get rid of the original and look, that's what it's looking like. It's getting twice as close. So it's done one full cycle by 180 and it's done another full cycle by 360. So now if we put in sine of alpha x, okay, and now we're going to compare this. Let's come down and is it going to let me get there? Right. If I now change this to 3x, what's going to happen is it's going to get three times as close. So there's the original, three times as close. So before, if we think about it, it completed a cycle by 360. That point at 360 has now become 120 because it's three times as close. And of course, if you now put in half x, it's going to start what I say laying down. Okay, there's the original. Lazy. It's getting twice as far away. So this is this one. Okay, it's a scale factor of one over a. So I've just done one over one half, which becomes two. Okay, and um, so it's a scale factor stretch. Right. The one I want to look at now is minus f of x. So this is minus f of x. Okay, so we're going to do minus, um, where's sine? There we go, minus sine alpha x. Let's pop that in. This is going to be reflected in the x-axis. There's the original, just being reflected. So what I'll do, if I kill that one, this will give you a better look at it. So all it is, is just flipped over. Okay, so that point was at maximum of one. It's now being flipped over. So that is minus f of x, and you're just reflecting that in the x-axis. Nothing really changes once you've got cos. Um, cos, exactly the same. So cos, um, let's do alpha. Okay, what do we know about cos? Well, cos starts at 1, okay? So it starts here and comes down to 0 at 90, 180 at minus 1, 270 at 0, 360 at 1. So that's one full period from there to there, and then it repeats. So, exit that if we wanted now uh, 2 cos of uh, alpha x. Let's draw that. There's the original, twice as high. Okay, so you can pretty much do what you like with these. Um, if you've got one of these calculators, uh, they're pretty good. Um, Saying that, they'll probably change very quickly and it will make me look very, very backwards. Right, let's now do cos. Just to find eyes, don't worry if this is just a bit above you, where you're at, okay? What's going to happen to this? It's going to get twice as close to the, x, uh, to the y axis, and then it's going to be raised by two. So let's have a look at this one. There's the original. That one has now got twice as close and been moved up by two. So we've got successive transformations. That's more AS stuff. But you can see it's just a combination. So now, if I went and did something a bit crazy, well, it's not crazy, I'm going to make it sound really good. This is now going to get three times as high, twice as close, and then be raised by two. Okay? Three times as high, twice as close, and let's say you can do what you, do what you like with these. So that's basic uh, trig transformations. If you want any help, just give me a shout.